Jonathan Gregg is live in the newsroom with more. Benjamin Sabina was in court today accused of killing his wife Jennifer. Prosecutors say that he was stalking her and allegedly jealous of other men. A criminal complaint describes a very disturbing scene on the morning of Christmas Eve. Cuffed, strapped down, and surrounded by deputies, Benjamin Sabina faced a judge for the first time. It's very clear that he's a very unstable person at this point in his life. The criminal complaint says Ben Sabina was stalking his wife on Christmas Eve, that he waited several hours for her outside the Wauwatosa Fire Department, where officers routinely take breaks. We have enough information, uh, and the DA felt comfortable issuing the criminal complaint. The complaint says as Officer Sabina left the fire station, she was first shot from behind, and then several times times in the face. An autopsy report says Sabina was shot a total of five times to the head. Benjamin Sabina said nothing in court as his family and friends sat behind him in disbelief. At a news conference, Wauwatosa Police Chief spoke on behalf of Jennifer Sabina's family. I think the family is probably doing as well as they can under the circumstances. <clears throat> um, they are devastated, of course, as are all of us. By what's happened. Chief Weber also reflected on the officer Jennifer Sabina was. She was everything I could hope for in a young police officer, intelligent, energetic, willing to be of service, and wanting to be a great police officer. Tonight, Benjamin Sabina is in jail on a $1 million cash bond. If convicted, he would spend the rest of his life in prison. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26. We're hearing tonight from some of the people who knew Jennifer Sabina. They describe a driven rookie officer with great potential. Sabina earned a degree at Waukesha County Technical College, where the dean says working in Wauwatosa was a career goal for her. She was very personable. Um, she could interact with, with different people from different backgrounds and do it very well. Friends have also posted on Facebook calling Jen a fun and beautiful person who loved life. Funeral plans have been finalized for Sabina. The visitation will be from 9 until noon on Saturday, with the funeral being held immediately afterwards. All of the services will take place in Brookfield.